is the American dream still alive? My name's Grant Cardone, and I took on a challenge to build a million dollar business in 90 days in a small town in Colorado during COVID. Your COVID test can be back in hospital. Without using my name, without using a credit card, and without using any of my contacts. This is anxiety, right? This is suicide. Business. With only $100, an old truck, and a cell phone, I got to build a million dollar business in a town I've never been to. It's hard when you got money. It's impossible when you don't. Follow along behind the scenes of Undercover Billionaire. What they didn't show you, couldn't show you, wouldn't show you. I'm going to show you right here, right now. So let me tell you, time out, time out. Let me tell you what really happened, okay? So what really happened was when I came back, we flew into Colorado Springs, not into Lamar Airport. My wife and kids were with me. We flew into Colorado Springs and we get off. I'm driving from Colorado Springs down to um, Pueblo. And on the way down, they're like, Grant, you need to go take a COVID test. Fucking Discovery Channel again saying one thing, telling me one thing, and then doing another, okay? It's unbelievable working with these networks, people, so dishonest. So I end up, um, so they forced me to go do this discovery check. Me and this other guy, producer guy, they, they, they shoot this. In fact, you'll see it on my Instagram with me do, doing the swab. Hey, where's the man? Two, three, four, five, gotcha. Boom. <laughs> okay, that's number nine I think I have. Swore I would never do this. In fact, I told him I will not take a COVID test, will not get vaccinated, will not shave my head again. And then once I get there, I'm pregnant with the show. Then they like, man, we got to do it, man. Insurance is making us do it, man. Please go over there and do it. It's going to be easy. This is when they were jamming those Q-tips like up into up underneath your eyeballs and make you water and everything. So we go do it. Now, the COVID test at that time will not come back for five days. And I'm telling Discovery, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of in my life. I'm flying back in. You got your one of your dick brains um, um, riding with me. We could both be sick right now. We're going to do a test right now. And then you're telling me we get the results in five days. And in that five days, I'm running around Pueblo getting everybody sick if I am sick. All right. Now, when I finally get the test results back, guess what? They're positive. And so are the other guys. He's got to get pounded off the show. We go another week now, I'll lose another week of production, not just because of me, but because the crew now has to quarantine. They're quarantining, that other kid's quarantining, I'm having to quarantine, even though I'm like, man, I don't know whether I got uh, this altitude sickness. Every time I go back to Colorado, the first four or five days, I'm altitude sick, flu-like symptoms. So I don't know that if I'm sick from altitude, Shit, just negative being back in Pueblo, thinking I'm stupid, missing my family, or if I got this thing called the, what is it called? The, the Wuhan, the Wuhan madness. Hey, if you like what you're watching, let me make it official. Hit that subscribe button. Never miss out on one of the latest episodes. I really appreciate your support. I couldn't do this without you guys. It helps the algorithm. Click that button now. Anyway, uh, we got to make a TV show here, so we make a TV show. There is so much being cut out of what's happening, including me fighting with Discovery every single day. Now, last thing I'm going to tell you, I have no clue that Discovery behind the scenes has added two chicks to this show. And they're going to put, they, they already know they're doing this, but they're not telling me. The entire time, they're going to add Colleen and Elaine. They're shooting two other shows at the same time, and, and they're going to cut it into this show to make three people basically doing the same show um, because, why? Because they didn't think I was coming back to shoot the show. They had Undercover Billionaire. Grant Cardone kept saying, he ain't coming back, he ain't coming back. So they started shooting two other alternatives to replace me with, only to find three of us in the show, and I'm just their little hoe. In fact, all three of us are. Let's keep it real. Okay, so look, this is what's going on right now. I have literally spent the last week in Pueblo sick. Why am I even here? This is all I'm asking myself. This is the dumbest 
effing thing I've ever done in my life. Everything indicates I ought to just bail, I ought to cut bait, get the hell out of town. I've wasted 15 days of my life, 10 days before the shutdown, waited three and a half months, came back. Then I wasted five days getting sick. If I'm going to get sick, I want to be with my family. I want to be at my home. I want to be in my condo in Miami, freaking with great views, some tea, a coffee, an espresso, the shit, my family, kids loving me. I don't want to be here in goddamn Pueblo, Colorado, where, by the way, I'm sitting here thinking, one, they could shut me down again. These people are nuts in Hollywood. They get scared of anything. They're like, just shut it down again, okay? Number two, I don't know um, if I can pull this off now. You understand? I'm like... I'm going to blow my brand here. I'm literally going to mess up 10X, Grant Cardone, greatest salesman in the world, greatest businessman in the world. You know, I'm always out tooting my own horn, saying, telling everybody I'm the greatest, I am the greatest. But the truth is, I'm looking at right now like, mm, I ain't going to be able to pull this off, bro. There's no way. I have, there's no way I'm going to hit a million-dollar target in Pueblo, Colorado. So look, man, look, if you want to watch this show the way they cut it, go to discoveryplus.com. It's an app you download. If you like watching it like this behind the scenes, Grant Cardone unpacking the mean, badass moves that I'm making, you guys know how this ends up, right? Oh, my God. If you don't know what I end up doing right now, I want to quit, but I don't. Stay tuned. See the next show as I unpack behind the scenes what they didn't show you, couldn't show you, wouldn't show you, because, hey, they ain't me.